An eye on all these potential heavy rains and down power lines. Preparations are happening all across the city as a severe weather threat moves through the triad. Taylor Leverett joins us live in Greensboro, giving us firsthand looks at the damage so far. Taylor, are you seeing anything? Yeah, that's right. We are in downtown Greensboro. Um, like we said, we were going to come visit here at another problem area that's known to flood during severe weather days. Just a little bit over my shoulder here is that rail bridge. That's another problem spot that is known to flood during severe weather. But despite conditions, they're clear right now. You know, Duke Energy crews are ready and on alert for days like this. In fact, severe weather preparations have begun way before severe weather actually comes into our area. The video you see on your screen there is from the last severe weather roll rolling in into our area. Take a look at how it creates dangerous conditions. A big problem is the flooding, which we saw in parts of Greensboro that brought down trees and knocked down power lines. Take a listen to Duke Energy spokesperson Jeff Brooks. He explains what the routine is for days like today. If we see one area get harder hit than others, we have the ability to quickly shift resources to help those local crews restore power as fast as possible. We've also got a lot of grid improvements that help us after these storms. You know, we've strengthened the grid with a lot of pole and line upgrades. We've added self healing technology in many places across the triad, and that helps us to reroute power around problems that we have. And Brooke says what they are keeping their eyes on today is the heavy winds. This could halt crews to get work on down power lines or trees. And Brooke says he encourages everyone this morning as they make their way on the roads. If you see something, say something. Now there's a number that you can text. Just text the word out O U T to 37801. This will get you instant power outage alerts to your phone. And again, if you don't have power, you know, you can call Duke Energy and report the outage in your area. We're going to be keep tracking all the severe weather all this morning. I'll send it back to you in the studio.